What do you want to know then? Là, nous étions trois camarades, Lam, Illo et Damouré. Le premier, c'est Lam. Lam est un berger Peul. Son vrai nom est Ibrahim Adia. On l'appelle Lam parce qu'en Peul, l'amido veut dire petit chef. Et Lam est un véritable petit chef. L'âme est courageux. Il ne parle pas beaucoup comme tout bon musulman. C'est notre ami depuis l'enfance. Je m'appelle l'âme Ibrahim Dia, le jeune berger. J'amène mes bébés au fleuve. C'est moi avec mon petit frère qui s'appelle... And the consequences of it for those people. So by using all of the images and stuff and playing with them and distorting them and whatever else I want to do with them, I think I can tell a story that captures, in essence, what's happened to them. That's what I think. So every film becomes a cultural document that you can use. Photographs become archival material and all sorts of other things. But really it becomes a, a recognition of the importance of the ocular, but trying at the same time probably to bring in the full sensory domain. And, and cinema offers a good potential to do that, really, you know. I mean, it does have the advantage above the text of having sound, for example. So you get two sensory things, sight and sound, whereas with a text you just get one, really. So it has its plus points. C'est notre ami depuis l'enfance. Je m'appelle Ilham Ibrahim Dia, le jeune berger. J'amène mes bébés au fleuve. C'est moi avec mon petit frère. Collect everything, listen to everything. If that's pictures, take them. You know, and then you come back and you try and make some bloody sense of it with whoever you're unfortunate enough to have as a supervisor. Really, that's what I think you should do. But you'll all go there with ideas of what you're going to do. And you'll encounter something really probably quite different from what you expect. Don't worry about it. Mm. Sorry, this is probably not what Will wants me to say <laughs> at all, I'm sure. I don't think Will knows that we're interviewing you anyway. It's yeah. probably a relief. He'll be horrified. <laughs> <rire> C'est quoi votre opinion de la future de l'anthropologie la, visuelle Mon opinion, je n'en ai pas. Je sais qu'elle existe et qu'à partir du moment où elle est anthropologue, elle doit tenir compte des gens qu'on filme. Donc à partir du moment où tu appuies sur un bouton, je suis dans ton film et tu t'engages dans une grosse responsabilité si tu des choses qui te sont désagréables. Qu'est-ce que tu fais à ce moment-là Tu casses ta caméra extended arguments about things about which methodological process you should use and stuff like that probably rather like the methods course you've been having 
truth of the matter is, is that we can't expect you to really go there and be fully formed anthropologists. In, in a sense, you're, you're seeing whether you can do it. So I wouldn't put too much pressure and burden upon yourself about the scientific value of what you do as such. I'd just go there and record stuff. And visually, I think you can do it in a number of ways. I mean, you can film specific events. Yeah. I mean, that, it does tie into a particular genre of ethnographic filmmaking, the event thing. But there you've got a record, a useful record. You can use it for a number of things when you come back. Yeah. On the other hand, you can just do a visual diary of when you're there, in the same way that you're, you'll be keeping another thing. Well, there may be times where you think there's a spe specific thing that, you, you know, might be captured better on film than any other way. Mais est-ce qu'il y a la future de l'anthropologie visuelle? Oh, c'est sûr, mais sur nous-mêmes d'abord. Ouais. Ça c'est le.